This week on Stadia's latest blog post has just dropped, so let's take a look at all the announcements beginning with the Stadia Pro games for the month of October. And let me just say, the lineup for the month is actually pretty incredible. You have Control Ultimate Edition, Cake Bash, Hello Engineer, Spirit, Lucky's Big Adventure, and Unto the End. That's 5 additional games for Stadia Pro members, and it's worth pointing out that Spirit, Lucky's Big Adventure is a day one release on Pro. It does appear that Google's taking a closer look at the Pro membership offerings because the last two months have been extremely good. It does make me wonder whether or not those changes Google are doing with those business contracts are actually taking effect already. And that's because it does incentivize developers to consider putting their games on Stadia Pro, and this might be the outcome right here. On a personal note, I think it was a fantastic idea on their behalf, I seriously think it's going to improve the value that people perceive Stadia having. And that's simply because Stadia Pro will always be compared to the likes of Xbox Game Pass or Luna Plus despite the fact that they probably shouldn't be compared, as Stadia Pro is much more of a PlayStation Plus or Games with Gold than anything else. That said, this is a way to turn that narrative around, and if they can make the Stadia Pro lineup appealing for anyone who signs up on any given month, that's always a good thing. In addition to the Pro news, we also have confirmation that the Addams Family Mansion Mayhem will arrive October 1st. This Family Game Night title will have you exploring the mansion's darkest depths and magical mysteries like never before. You'll get to use each iconic character's special abilities to solve puzzles and find relics that reveal the mansion's hair-raising story. And for those wondering, the game does support local PvP and co-op gameplay as well. That's not the only title releasing this week, as we also get FIFA 22. This is probably the most highly anticipated sports title every single year, and it's great to see it as a day one release on Google Stadia. Now, it will be available for purchase October 1st for $59.99 US, but if you really can't wait to play, you can pick up the Ultimate Edition right now to get early access and a few additional digital goodies. I also can't speak about FIFA without mentioning the fact that it is running on the next gen version and does have the groundbreaking hypermotion gameplay technology that is supposed to be top notch. Myself, I'm not a big sports guy, but I have heard good things about the Stadia port, everyone seems to be enjoying it, and the player base does seem to be pretty decent for online, at least so far. I'm really glad to hear that's the case because I know this game means a lot to a lot of people out there, in fact this is probably their go-to title every single year, so it's great to see it here on Stadia. Past that, they announced that Ember and Phoenix Point are both adding new combat, and Ember, which is the frantic multiplayer firefighting game, has officially exited early access with a slew of content including two new districts, five new game modes, and mutator missions. And starting September 30th, you can expect cross-platform play with both consoles and PC. If you're a fan of Phoenix Point, you can look forward to the Corrupted Horizons expansion that includes all new deadly threats to the Phoenix organization, and you can pick this up on Friday for $4.99. And lastly, they talked about the new feature Phone Link. I actually made an in-depth video on this very topic, so if you want to check that out, click on the annotation above. But to give you a quick rundown, a new feature has launched that allows you to use your phone to game on your Chromecast Ultra or any other screen really. It's as simple as tapping the controller icon on your Stadia app and following the on-screen instructions. You can also connect any other controller directly to your phone while using this and actually use that controller to play. So this does allow you to use any controller you want to play on a Chromecast Ultra if you choose to do so this way. All in all, a pretty solid This Week on Stadia blog post with FIFA 22 and the Stadia Pro games for the month of October being the highlights. And it's also great to see new features getting added. Even if you don't plan on using them yourself, it's great to see it happen simply because Stadia is becoming a more flexible and stable platform due to it. Giving players options on how they choose to play is never a bad thing and I'm glad Google's really taking this approach here. Now if you enjoyed today's video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out and if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. As always, thank you for watching the video. This has been The Virtual Cloud, giving you the latest and greatest on everything cloud gaming and VR related, and until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.